Believe it or not, it's been 10 years now since the United States women's soccer team captured the hearts of American sports fans by winning the World Cup at the Rose Bowl. And most of the young ladies who watched that team were spurred on by that team. And now, 10 years later, women's soccer is at an all-time high. At San Diego State, the Aztecs are looking to move up from the middle of the pack, where they finished fourth in the Mountain West Conference a year ago. The preseason pundits have them picked for fourth place again. However, the Aztecs return their top two scorers, including midfielder Cat Walker, who led the Aztecs with ten goals a year ago. And goalkeeper Aubrey Southwick was an all-conference performer. We caught up with some of the players and coach, Mike Friesen, heading into the 2009 season. The women's soccer team starts earlier than they've ever started before. Game one is coming up uh, this Friday against Fresno State. And, uh, Kat, you guys finished in the middle of the Mountain West standings last year. Uh, what needs to happen this year to, uh, to move you guys up a little bit? Uh, I think this year what we were going to have to do is really work as a team going up and back on the field and just on and off the field. You know, that camaraderie off the field really helps with the outcome on the field. So I think... Um, yeah, just working together will help us overcome some of the stuff that we couldn't overcome last year. Yeah, I mean, it's not like uh, you were overmatched. I mean, yeah. you, you lose a 2-1 to one overtime game in the Mountain West Conference tournament, so I imagine that's, uh, that's something that probably sticks with you a little bit during the off season, huh, Jessica? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this season, just being together a few weeks before our games, like we're all really close, we were there for each other. Um, and we're just really ready to like dig in and get our first wins this weekend. Yeah, well, they start off, like we said, uh, home game on Friday against Fresno State, and uh, I think it's going to be a terrific year. Kat Walker and Jessica Gordon of the San Diego State women's soccer team. We're visiting with the uh, third-year head coach of the San Diego State women's soccer team, Mike Friesen, and uh, Coach, uh, boy, you guys are getting started early. I mean, I think uh, uh, campus doesn't even open for another 15 days, but uh, you guys get things off to a quick start uh, Friday against uh, Fresno State. Yeah, we're, you know, we're excited about the season, but, uh, yeah, things are happening really quickly, and uh, I think more quickly than I would like them to happen. I think the girls are ready to play uh, another opponent, but for me, I always feel like it needs a little bit more time and preparation, but we are where we are. Yeah, yeah. coaches always worry. That's that's your job. That's part of it. That's why we <laughs> have the gray hair. Or no hair, whatever the case may be. Uh, coach, uh, last season, uh, kind of a 500-type season, and it, and it looked like you really had maybe a goal here, a goal there. You guys could have been a second-place team or you know maybe gone the other way. So this year, uh, you start in the middle. People are picking you in the middle again in the Mountain West Conference standings. What things are you focusing on to, to try to move up a few notches? Yeah, well, I think last year we, you know, wasn't the year we wanted for sure. Um, in the progression of, of my tenure as the head coach, we're, we're trying to build something here. And we brought in a great recruiting class last year. Um, and I thought we were better than many of the teams we played, had the lead in many games, 14 of those games to be exact, mm -hmm. and gave up leads and some things like that. So as far as player personnel last year, we were in a good spot. Um, we were very young, still are very young. So the things we focus on in the spring and now are, you know, one of them is team chemistry. Um, the other one is just hard work and effort just on a daily basis. And we compete every day in training. We compete in every single thing we do in this program. And we feel like that is the catalyst that's going to be, you know, taking us to the season we want to have. When you look back on last season, you mentioned 14 games where you had a lead that uh, you know got away, and you know maybe with a tie rather than a victory. Um, is that something that you're concerned about in, in the sense that when your kids do get ahead, they get they get worried that they may lose the lead rather than to just keep focusing on what they did to get ahead in the first place? Yeah, I think that's something we for sure addressed in the spring, and and we we actually uh, struggled a little bit early in the spring, but that's something we focus a lot on in the spring. And I think that's that problem. Uh, hopefully it's solved. You're, you know, as a as a coach, you're never quite sure until that first game happens. But I feel like uh, maturity-wise, we're just in a better spot this year. We're still really young, but we have some some good senior leadership this year. We did a lot of time. We spent a lot of time with the seniors in in some leadership training, um, and that's been a big focus as well because it can't always come from me. It's got to be team-led, and I think that's a big change from this year to last. Is that this year's team? You know, when I say something, it's it's backed up by the seniors, and I, that's that's important. And Cat Walker is is your leading scorer, so that's the player that they're going to focus on. Even though soccer is is without question maybe the one of the greatest team sports of all. But uh, ten goals last season, I think that's something uh, you know that uh, you're excited about bringing her back uh, here for a junior season, knowing you have her for two more years, and and really maybe making her the focal point of your offense. 
Well, the nice part is, as much as we love Kat and, and she's going to score a lot of goals for us, she doesn't have to be the focal point this year. We, we have other players surrounding her. Jessica Gordon is one of those players that I think uh, can step up and score a lot of goals. We have two freshmen that have had uh, some national team experience that are coming in. Um, Michaela De Jesus, who was injured a decent amount last year, um, is getting back to form. So I think we have a lot of different players that can score a lot of goals. Um, we're, we're also focusing on the defensive side of the ball with Kat. I think that was one of the things that we asked her to get better at. She's done that. Um, so we're excited about a lot of players. For sure, nice to have Cat back, not just this year, but a- another year after this. Talk a little bit about your goaltending or goalkeeping situation. I mean, you have two that uh, you relied on last year, and looking at the numbers, it, it looked as if both of them performed very well for you. Yeah, uh, Aubrey Southwick, I think, um, going into the season here is going to be the starter. Uh, she's been the starter, had an injury um, in the beginning of conference play last year, so struggled a bit towards the end. Um, but she, you know, is another one that, that has a lot of talent and over the past year has really become more focused, more of a leader on the team. Uh, we're expecting big things out of her. She does, she does some things that uh, a lot of goalkeepers don't do. She's very good with her feet, um, takes a lot of pressure off her back line. But, yeah, we're excited about all three goalkeepers we have. All three I'm very confident and comfortable with. All right, for those of you that are big time, just crazy, and I know that's you right there watching uh, here on uh, GoAztecs.com, and you just are dying for San Diego State's 09 sports season to get underway, well, you guys are going to kick it off this Friday against Fresno State, uh, August the 21st, on the uh, Sports Deck. Coach, uh, we wish you nothing but the best of uh, success in uh, 2009. Let's, uh, Let's start this Aztec sports season off on the right note. We'll do it.